Man, teaching online, y'all, is rough. I can't hear you. Your, your mic is muted, baby. Unmute your mic. Taryn, are you here? I asked you to answer the next question. Taryn, can you answer question number four, please? Taryn. And sometimes it makes you so frustrated that you just want to quit. Like, really quit. You guys, I'm here to tell you that the end of the school year doesn't have to be as frustrating as the rest of the school year has been. Because today I'm going to spice up your end of the year activities by giving you 11 really fun on-screen virtual online Zoom games. <laughs> If you're new here, hi, my name is Aja. Welcome to this amazing community where we bring the fun and excitement back to teaching. If you're new here, then go ahead and subscribe down below. And right below that subscription button is a bell icon. Go ahead and click it so you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And don't forget to like this video right here. Right here, you guys. All right, so today I'm gonna give you 11 really fun online end of the year Zoom games. All right, so before we get started, let me know down below in the comments, are you ready for this summer? You guys, I have never been so ready for summer vacation. But because this year has been such a different year in education, I wanted us to have some fun this summer, so I went ahead and created some new merchandise. So you have these wonderful unplugged shirts, you have mute your mic, and of course you have my mic is muted for the summer. Right now, I'm waiting for my shirts to come in the mail. If you're interested in getting your own summer t-shirt, the link is down below in the description. All right, let's get into our first online end of the year Zoom game. Hey guys, so coming in at game number one, we have the class superlatives. This game is a really cute game that allows children to use the chat box or even a dry erase board and dry erase marker. What you would do is go ahead and share your screen and then click play on the video. All kids will watch the introduction and explanation of the directions so you don't have to do a thing. Then once it's time for the first award, you'll go ahead and pause the video. All Most kids will use the chat box or the dry erase board the to write a classmate that they feel like best deserves that award. Then once you see all those funny names coming in, you'll see which classmate actually had the most votes. Then you're gonna hit play again on the video and then the slide's gonna say, and the winner is, and you'll hit pause again and you'll announce whoever it was that had the most votes. And you're just gonna continue to go through these really silly class superlatives, such as most likely to eat the most bananas at recess. And you're gonna see which one of your students all your kids voted on. Now this game is really funny. If you guys are interested in purchasing this on-screen game, I have the link down below in the description. All right, so our next game is all about getting ready for the summer. What do we all do when we're about to have summer vacation? We write a to-do list, duh. So this game is called Summer To-Do List. And what you will do is you will set a two minute timer. During those two minutes, all your students will sit there and write their summer to-do list. They're gonna think about all the things that they wanna do this summer. At the end of the buzzer, you will pick different students to share their list out loud. Now, if somebody says something that any of the other students had on their to-do list, they must cross that off their to-do list. As you'll notice, as you continue to go through different students, everybody's to-do list will get shorter and shorter and shorter because certain things such as go swimming in the pool should already be crossed off everybody's list. So the object of this game is to have the most unique summer to-do list, but shh. Don't tell your students this part of the game in advance. You just want them to create their summer to-do list. Eventually, the game will continue to play out where you'll call on a student and they'll say, my no, entire so list sweet. is already scratched mm -hmm. off, oh, yeah, and then you'll go to the next that. person. Once everybody has had the chance to either cross off everything off their to-do list or share what they had on the to-do list, then everybody will be able to count exactly how many summer activities are left on their to-do list. And of course, whoever has the most summer activities 
no. still on their to-do list would win. And that's the student you need to be vacationing with this summer. <laughs> All right, so let's get into our next game. And our next game is Summer Survey. Summer Survey is actually a freebie that I give to you guys for free online. If you want to download your own freebie, I have the link down below to that in the description and also down below in the comments. And you can grab this game absolutely free. Anyway, so with Summer Charades, all you do is share your screen. Then you will share the game board on your screen so that all students can see it. Now make sure everybody playing this game has their cameras turned on and they also have some room to move when it's their turn. You will divide up everybody on the call into two to four teams. Once everybody has their team, they will go ahead and choose a turn order. So within team A, you'll go first, second, third, fourth, fifth. You guys get the point. Now, everybody has the same game board that they're looking at on your screen. So of course the answer is somewhere on the screen. Now each turn is only 60 seconds and that includes actually stating what it is that the person is acting out. During the 60 seconds, that person will act out one of the spaces displayed on the screen and they must privately message it to you prior to them acting it out. This way they won't switch up exactly what it is that they were about to act out. Now during their turn, everybody on their team must use the chat box in order to communicate and figure out what it is that their teammate is actually acting out. Now each team is only allowed one guest during the 60 seconds. So they're messaging each other during the chat box, they decide one answer, then one person will say, are you riding a bike? If they got it right, then that team gets a point. Now here's the catch. If that team gets it wrong, then all of the other teams get a point. So this makes it really competitive because if you get that answer wrong, then they get a point. <laughs> Now our next game is an oldie but goodie, and you typically hear about this game in a lot of icebreakers. But it makes for a really cool end of the school year game because everybody already kind of knows each other. So it was really funny to see what people think. And this game is called Two Truths and a Lie. Let me know down below in the comments, have you ever played Two Truths and a Lie? It's one of my favorites. But with Two Truths and a Lie, each person will go ahead and think of two true things about themselves and one not so true thing about themselves. When it's that person's turn, they'll simply state out all three things. Here, I'll give you an example. I'm in a sorority, I love giraffes, and my favorite movie is Frozen. Which one is the lie? Now everybody will try to guess your lie. So, I'll have to ask you, which one of those is my lie? You'll have to stay to the end of the video for me to reveal. Go ahead and put in the comments which one you think is a lie and wait till the end to figure out which one actually is my lie. All right, so with two truths and a lie, what everybody will do is simply just what I did and they'll try to see what everybody thinks is their lie. With a big class, you can simply say, was it one, two, or three? And everybody can put in the chat box the numbers one, two, or three. And of course, then the person will actually reveal which one was the lie. Our next game is called Summer Break. And believe me, we are all ready for summer break. So with summer break, what you would do is use the whiteboard feature and you're actually going to write out the word summer break. So once you have the word summer break on the screen, you will set a timer for two minutes. I have a lot of two minute timers in today's videos. Anyways, during those two minutes, every child will need a sheet of paper or something to write with and they're going to see how many words they can create using the letters in summer break. If people don't have a sheet of paper, you can always use the chat box and just tell your students do not hit enter until the very end. Anyways, once your timer goes off, you will simply have everybody count up how many new words they use using the letters of summer break and whoever created the most new words would win. Now, this next game might get you a little upset, but our next game is called Who Knows the Teacher Best? And you're really trying to figure out not which student knows you the best, but if you know yourself better than the students. So this game is actually students versus the teacher. And y'all, don't cheat. With this game, what you will do is set yet another two minute timer. Within the two minutes, you will sit there and you will actually write out a list of everything that you know about yourself. 
Your kids will then use the chat box and they're gonna actually be collectively writing out their own list of everything they know about you. So you might have 22 against one, which makes for a really fun game. Now during the time where you are not allowed to look in the chat box and see what your kids just typed. Once the timer goes off, all kids must stop typing in the chat box. You can then show your list that you created of things you knew about yourself and then use that opportunity to look in the chat box and see what your kids actually said about you. Then you'll simply count and see which list was the longest. And whoever's list was the longest, whether it be the students or yourself, would win this game. Now since the kids have spent all year getting to know you, let's see exactly what all they have in common. So our next game is called My Favorite. <laughs> in this game, all students will see who in their class has things in common with them. So for example, a child could say, my favorite thing to do in math is skip count, then any other student who absolutely loves skip counting will simply stand up. Now if you don't want to play the game without the whole standing up or sitting down, you can simply have kids give a thumbs up or thumbs down. For every child that actually stands up, meaning that they also love skip counting, that hey, child gets that many points. So if five kids stood up, That's then so that scary. child just received five I points. And then you'll continue to go to the next one. I guarantee you the child that's gonna win the most points is gonna say my favorite game is Minecraft. Oh, there you go. The whole class stood up on that one. Y'all, I have seen kids play Minecraft in the middle of class. Oh my goodness, what is it with that game? Can you feel the beat? Huh? Can you, can you feel the beat? Ooh, ooh. Cause our next game is called The Beat. And you're actually going to create your own class dance. Your own class dance. Yes, you're gonna do this virtually. So in order to play this game, you will have to give every single child a turn order. So what I suggest is go ahead and writing all your kids' names down on the whiteboard and then giving them a number, one, two, three, four, all the way to 22 or however many kids you actually have in your classroom. Allow all the kids at the beginning to come up with their own dance move so that when it's their turn, they already know exactly what it is that they wanna add to your class dance. Now, you're gonna need this beat. One, two, three, four. Say it with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you get the point. So now it's time for the fun part. Now because of technology, I suggest that you keep up with the beat and you go ahead and mute everybody else on the call. Now every person's turn is only for four seconds. So what you will do is you'll say, one, two, three, four. During those four counts, the first person will go ahead and do their dance move for the four count beat. Now it's the second person's turn. They will have to do the first person's dance move along with their new dance move. So they're gonna go for eight counts. You'll continue to do this all the way until you get through the entire class dance. And you're gonna have to help some of the ones that are at the very end because Woo! You don't want to be the last one to go in this game. And then at the end, go ahead and click record on your Zoom call and have everybody do your new class dance. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now our next game might get your kids a little rowdy and it is the TikTok challenge. What you will do is you will go ahead and pre-screen some appropriate TikToks. Then you're gonna share your screen and show the kids the actual TikTok challenge. Give all your students five minutes to go ahead and recreate that challenge. Now if you have a class flip grid or seesaw, all your kids can post their TikTok challenge inside their seesaw or flip grid and then you can sit back, relax, pop some popcorn and watch your entire class do their TikTok challenge. Maybe one of them will go viral, who knows? Now, if you're getting value out of this video, don't forget to go ahead and click that thumbs up button down below. All right, so let's get to our next game and it is Summer Bingo. You guys know, as, as much as I like to have fun, I also like to have fun the simple way. So coming in in our next game, we have Summer Bingo. And I have the links down below in the comments so you don't have to worry about Googling it. But on my free bingo cards, they actually have a Summer Bingo 
already made for you. All you do is simply generate your card and give all your students the class link. With this summer bingo, each student will be given a different bingo card. And then all you'll do is share your screen and call out the pieces. The really cool thing is all you're doing is clicking next and saying flip flops sunscreen and they will simply be trying to cover their board now because the summer bingo board isn't really long i suggest playing the blackout version which is the first person that actually covers their entire summer bingo card wins the game and they must yell bingo all right so are y'all ready for our last game you gotta let me know down below in the comments which one of these games are you gonna play with your students I love end of the year activities. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> In the school system, that is. Anyways, our last game is da 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 da. Summer Jeopardy! You guys, Jeopardy is probably one of the easiest games to play virtually online. With Jeopardy, what you're gonna do is divide up all your kids in different teams. And they can use the chat box in order to communicate, so don't worry about them talking. Now, although you have all your kids divided in teams, I suggest go ahead and giving them a turn order. That way they don't ever have to worry about whose turn it is. During a child's turn, they will choose a category and how many points they actually want to go for. Now, they have to say their answer in the form of a question. Now, if they get this right, you'll hit the green plus sign and they gain that many points. But if they get it wrong, you're gonna hit that red minus sign and then they lose that many points. So they must use their team for help. Down in the comment box, kids will actually be able to talk to their team and you're going to set a 60 second timer for this because if you don't, they'll be talking forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I know. Now that student must give their final answer before the timer goes out. So this way it keeps the game flowing really nicely. Of course, the object of the game is to be the team with the most points. Ta-da! I have the link down below to this Jeopardy game, so don't forget to check that out as well. I have a lot of resources to give you guys on today's video. Now don't forget, if you want that Summer Charades game for free, go ahead and download it below in the description in the comments. And also don't forget about the class superlative game. Oh yeah. Now I told you guys at the end of the video, I was gonna share with you my lie. And the first one was I'm in a sorority and yes, I'm actually a member of Delta Sigma Theta sorority. Ooh -hoo! And the second one was definitely I love giraffes. Now, this could have been a tricky one because you probably see I have a lot of elephants, but giraffes are actually my favorite animal. Hmm. That, of course, leaves number three. My favorite movie is not Frozen. It is actually Toy Story. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want even more online games that you can play with your students, go ahead and check out this entire playlist. And if you're just wondering what do I watch next, go ahead and check out this video. And 